So here we have a little Rosler piano. Very small and neat. Um, there you are, look. Rosler's actually a Czechoslovakian piano. Czechoslovakian pianos actually have a better history than you might think. I'll just show you inside here because you can see I've reconditioned it all. You can see in there. But I have reconditioned this one myself and uh, prepared it, toned it and everything. But as I was saying, so Czechoslovakian pianos, there's a famous Czechoslovakian piano called a Petrov. By the way, don't worry about this radiator. It's off all the time. The pipe's behind. Um, just in case I get some people contacting me about that one. But um, it's... Uh, Petrov was a, a famous Czechoslovakian piano, um, which you'll have heard of these days. But Rosl also had been going a very long time before that. Um, good old traditional Czechoslovakian piano. Um, and uh, indeed, Petrov took Rosler over, I think it was about early 90s or something. So this was made before that happened. So it's an original Rosler. I'll just play you a little something on it now. different to the Yamahas that I have in um, and a lot of people prefer that sort of tone some people call it a European tone I'm not sure but it's it's certainly soft and mellow but very even singer than I am a player but um, if you're after a soft tone with um, possibly a slightly heavier touch than a light touch which a lot of the Yamahas have then this might be the piano for you it's certainly very good value and um, you know I recommend it to you if you're after a piano of a certain budget of a certain style that's small and neat. The Rosler.